Hmm. I wonder how much glass I can make. Can I make 100,000? I can. Okay. Ha. <laughs> nice. But wait. I can speed this up. Right now, it's doing a funny thing, where it only burns a certain amount. So, this crafts one at a time. I think I can make... Oh, let's get rid of that. Uh, a recipe for that, through smelting, and do it like this, where 64 sand becomes 64 glass. Let's try that. Yeah. I'm going to take that one out. Oh, by the way, hello everyone. Welcome to All The Mods 8. Now, let's craft... 80,000. Oh, wait. <laughs> I did it wrong. Cancel. I meant to do the glass, right? Let's do 70,000. Yeah. There we go. Now we're talking speed. What? Excuse you. What? Okay. <laughs> the reason why I wanted to make, well, 90,000 glass for now is because I want to start upgrading. I really need to put like a door here. Hold on. Framed door. Hehe. <laughs> Perfect. I really want to upgrade and start adding some more storage to this so that we can uh, we can start working towards the ATM star because it's going to take a lot of resources. So, one thing that I will do is hook this stuff up and we have ourselves a bunch of silicon here as well as a few other things that we can set up some auto crafting to go through the process of making all of these. So the 1k storage parts and all of that, yeah, there's going to be a bit to do. So we need to set up auto crafting for all of that. So let me spend a little bit of time doing that. I'm going to go through and make up the crafting recipes and whatnot. I'm going to connect this storage up to our main system and we'll see how much we can make before going into a bit of a list of all the things that we need to build. Like I said at the end of last episode, uh, I do want to organize ourselves for what we need to put into this tower to make our ATM star. So let me do a little bit of work, see if we can get some extra storage just so that we have it available. And then we can go from there. Yeah. Also, I have this chopping board here for stripping wood. It's so fast. We'll keep that there. Perfect. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in a sec. All right. I've been busy. I spent about an hour sorting out a bunch of crafting stuff over in there. And also, I've just set this up to work with spiders and connected it to my system to start bringing in some string because I've actually set up the crafting for all of these up to an infinite storage part. And if I click on crafting one of those, you can see I've actually got most of the stuff required. Like it can craft all of that, it says. It just needs a little bit more diamond and a few other things that I haven't quite set up yet. So we're not quite there yet. It still needs to build up some supplies. I uh, I do have string being poured into there right now and a bunch of other stuff, but I think this 262 million, yeah, I can craft that. <laughs> I, can, I can craft a 262 million storage. And right now we are at 585,000. I also set up these, finally, I've been meaning to do that for a little while, but I've just hooked them up so that we have access to the different types. And I've gone through and I've started making all the modium seeds. So you can see that we've got uh, 730 or so just there. And to do this, I actually had to make myself something called magical soil, which requires dragon seeds. So the insanium blocks isn't too hard and the insanium farmland isn't too hard to get, but the dragon scales, I'm fresh out. And I was really hoping to make nine, nine, and nine of the different types, the Aldermodium, the Vibranium, and the Unobtainium, because I've already actually set up this crafting stuff here for it. But thankfully, I actually already have a bunch in storage anyway. I think what I'm going to do, hmm, does this one need any Vibranium? This only needs one. Yeah, that should be fine. Let's craft a 260 something million and see what happens. See how long it takes. 
It's crafting up thousands upon thousands of the 1K storage parts. Crafting through all of these. Processing the whole lot. Like, this is tens, if not hundreds of thousands of crafting recipes being done. Quicker than we could possibly do. It would take me, like, a year <laughs> to craft all of this up manually. So... We're going through, crafting 4Ks, now crafting a bunch of these. We've got 160 or 16 million storage part made, I think that is. 65 million, and we're going for 200. So we have a 65 million there. <laughs> going through the process, that's two 65 millions. Do -do -do -do. Stored one. There's obviously a, uh, a little bit of a bottleneck somewhere. I think it might be my processing of smelting these items up but that's fine and there we go so if we go uh storage <laughs> we have a 262 million storage part now that is obviously used in this or you can make yourself a storage block but it doesn't quite uh make what we need for some of these things which one of these not sure which one hold on um no this one requires a yeah the next one up a billion storage unit so i'm going to actually keep that in there and uh we need to make two more now i can't quite make one more because i am getting a little bit blocked on how much of this silicon that I have. Even though I've got it absolutely cranking, it uh, it's not quite keeping up. So I, I think we're just gonna let those continue. And then we have all sorts of stuff already prepared in here for down the line. So you can see I've got things like that. And over in my refined storage, I've got the crafting recipes all the way up to an infinite. So we're pretty close. It's it's not that unrealistic to to think about getting ourselves an infinite storage. The biggest setback right now, I believe, is probably the iron, the redstone, and the silicon. But I mean, come on. <laughs> We're getting pretty close. So, while we can uh, do this to get ourselves a bunch of string and everything that we need, I'm just going to temporarily turn that off. And uh, this is also a temporary solution. Let that continue to build up some stuff. And I think we might go fight the dragon. <laughs> Honestly... Uh, I think that's uh, that's what I want to do because I do want to set up the uh, vibranium and unobtainium seeds to start producing a bunch of that over time. And that's going to help us with a lot of stuff related to this when we get into the higher crafting sort of materials. So uh, if we want to take on the dragon again, we need to make ourselves some of these. One, two, three, four. I'm going to make myself, well, 12 apparently. And... Yeah. One last thing that I want to check is if this has the thing on it that allows it to take magic siphoning. Hmm. Hold on. Let's have a look. I know I've got one in here. So if I chuck that in there for the item filter, is it knowledge of ages? Enemies drop direct. No, no, no. Don't want that. It's possible that it may not be possible to put it onto this. Oh, they've changed the ender pouch texture. Interesting. So, somewhere in here, there is, I think, right? Yes, Cognizant Dust. Cognizant Dust is usually obtained by killing a Wither or an Ender Dragon using an Essence weapon enchanted with Mystical Enlightenment. Mystical Enlightenment, that's what I'm after. High levels of Mystical Enlightenment will increase the amount of dust dropped. So, it's really hard to tell because I've got so many things on this. I wish there was a way to see better the amount. Um, I think F3H. No, that still has all of the stuff. I want to get rid of the information, but I don't know how. So, do I have Mystical Enlightenment in here? I do. So let's make up a full level of that and see. Does it add to this? It doesn't. Okay. Because I want to get some of that dust. I don't know what it's used for, but I want it. And I may as well, while we're looking at taking on the dragon. So if we go to in my mystical agriculture stuff, I do have a solium dagger. Now that is probably not the best weapon we can get. We can make a sword, probably a supremium sword. All right, let's add that to our list. If we want that, we need two of those. One of these, which requires two of those. Beep, beep, beep. All 
right, I just need a Prudentium sword and one of these. One, two, a diamond sword. Okay, we'll start with that. And I should probably grab this out just in case it gets us an advancement of some sort. Mystical Agriculture. It might just be part of the gear setup or the tool setup. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Next on the list is this one. Then this one. This one. There we go. <laughs> that gets us something. And then we can go up to a Supremium. Nice. Very nice. Bunch of rewards. Oh, zombie seeds. So with this Supremium sword, I should be able to chuck that in there. And there we go. It can get mystical enlightenment on it. So um, let's put that away. Put the sword in here. Grab the mystical enlightenment first and foremost. We'll grab a looting Maxed out looting, maxed out leech, chance to drop spawn eggs, sure. Literally just going to add everything to this, much like I would any other sword. Add scavenger. I don't think I can add smite at the same time, right? We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll grab a soulbound, a sweeping edge, and that will do. It does get sharpness and smite, apparently. Damn. That's a beast of a sword. It's actually better than our uh, all the modium one here. Yo. <laughs> so if that's the case, um, I'm going to put that stuff away. Put away our few goodies that we got. And those can go too. Let's go kill the dragon. Now we can easily get there. Like so. <laughs> and there should be a... Yeah, hi friend. <laughs> I threw you in here. Just no, just stay down there if, if you know what's good for you. Let's, uh, let's show this dragon who's boss. This should not take long. The last time we were in here, I was like, oh yeah, we're, uh, we're super strong. And now we're, uh, we're something else. So I'm going to flo float up here. Oh, actually, before anything else, hostile creatures, way too loud. <laughs> we'll wait for these to go through their process and uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Now it's very likely that I wouldn't even need to break these. Also, she is no quieter. I can just uh, do this. Come here. There we go. Now, do I get the stuff from her? Give me all the goodies. One dragon scale? Come now. Ah, here we go. <laughs> it was over where I originally got her. So we got 20 Cognizant Dust and 8 Dragon Scales. 8 Dragon Scales is a start, but it's not quite what we need. Now, what is this used for? Ah, Awakened Supremium. An Awakened Supremium is used for what? Making an Awakened Supremium be spawn egg? What does that do? <laughs> I don't know. Also, you can probably... Uh, Well, you know what? It is what it is. I'm going to turn off the tool swapping for a second. Um, you can stay there. I'm not too worried about the eggs because I can make them now. Also, someone's going to have to tell me, what is it that uh, lowers the volume of the dragon? Because that is so loud. All right, come on, noisy. I'm stronger than you. There we go. We'll drop down here and see whether it dropped anything. Hmm. You're tough. The one thing about this compared to, uh, excuse me, compared to the all the modium sword is the swing speed. So, okay, we get eight per dragon fight and 20 cognizant dust. Good to know for future reference. A swoop. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's do one more real quick. That'll at least get us a couple more of what we need for this magical soil. And I can also grab this. Nice. I haven't gone into this awakened stuff just yet. All right, sweetie. One more time. Hey. There we go. Up to 24 and 60 of the Cognizant Dust. That should do just nicely. And tada. <laughs> what are these ones used for? 
Makes a copy. Oh, it can be used in this dragon soul. Nice. Okay. Egg and home. So what we can use this for is creating a few more of these. That is going to make me um, six more, which should start getting me into the next slide. It's actually going to go three and three. I'm going to use that to just start dipping into the vibranium and the supremium. So let's, uh, oh, dragon sinew. What is that used for? Uh, I don't know, but I like it. I can grab these Supremium blocks here and we combine the Supremium blocks with the Dragon Scales and an Insanium farmland in the middle. And that gets us what we need. It's pretty cool. It's amazing to look at this stuff now compared to the lack of knowledge that I had when I was sort of starting this mod pack. It seems crazy, but it really is something that you build up the knowledge over time. Like it's not truly that difficult if you set your mind to it. And with that, we have six more. It's pretty expensive stuff. So I can uh, I can turn the tool swapper back on now. And I'm just gonna do the middle ones of each of these. Now this works much like a crux in that it has to be underneath the farmland itself. And if we do that, we can now start planting on here the magical stuff. And that's where vibranium comes into order. So if I turn this into a bunch of those like that, these are used in making vibranium seeds. As you can see, it's pretty expensive. So we're gonna make as much as we can. And then what's gonna happen is that's going to provide us the amount that we need for the rest of it. So sort of like a large investment now to get more out of it later. There's one, two, and three. And I'm only going to do three, even though I have enough to do more because we don't have the blocks to put these on. So you can see there, it says tier magical requires magical soil below, which is what we were doing before. Now let's do the vibranium, not vibranium. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, all the modium, <laughs> vibranium, supremium, no. Unobtainium. Yeah. I'm going to need 12 of those. Unobtainium seeds. One. <sighs> there we go. Two. And three. Those can go there. And we should have some of this building up. That can go underneath. Now these ones don't really, oh, 888, eight, eight, that's satisfying. They don't really grow as fast as some of the other stuff, but it will be building up at all times, much like these ones have been as well. So I think that should work just fine. And there's our unobtainium essence. Delicious. We are now growing all the modium, vibranium, and unobtainium, as well as nitro crystals, dragon eggs, nether stars, like, oh man, this is fun. <laughs> So how are we looking with all this? We still need another 30,000 string, but I can do that. Yeah, we're definitely running low on this stuff and the redstone. I think it may, may be time. Ooh, wait a second. Hmm, I have a quartz pattern and I'm pretty sure somewhere in here, I have a silicon pattern that makes it out of the silicon essence, but I can also create the silicon out of quartz. Silicon can be cooked from quartz. Yeah. And then quartz can be made out of this, which I think I may already have that recipe. I do. <laughs> so if we make a processing for silicon like that, does that change things when it comes to this? Hmm, not really. <laughs> That's because we need uh, nearly a million silicon. I guess that makes sense. I didn't really take a second to stop and look at the fact that we need 200,000 basic processes, uh, 69,000 improved and 34,000 advanced. Yeah, yeah, damn, that's kind of crazy. We'll get there though. We'll absolutely get there. All right, what's next? Hmm, I'm out of power, damn. When I said what's next, I thought I'd take a second to continue to work on a few different things and come over to my mining dimension and start working on another dig here. As you can see, it is doing stuff, but it has completely slowed down because uh, I'm obviously not generating enough power. 
the combination of having my infinite range multi-dimensional storage as well as uh well i was floating in the air up here and having all of that recharged seems to have drained the current capacity of my uh power setup that i have so oh <laughs> might want to fly across here we're going to head back and we'll leave this for later and instead, it might be time to start preparing for some reactors, some power reactors. So I've been in here collecting some redstone and stuff. I'm actually going to turn that off and decided that in the end, half of the stuff that I needed for this infinite storage, things like the, uh, the redstone and stuff. Oh, I can craft enough now. Nice. But a little bit of extra diamond, some quartz to make up some of this silicon, all of that jazz. I figured, yeah, it's probably worth doing a little bit more mining. We can also get plenty of iron and gold as well from that mining dimension. <sighs> it's the power. The power we just don't have enough of. So this thing in here, yeah, it's, uh, it's barely keeping up. Is this charging? Does that chunk destroyer continue to work while I'm not in there? Interesting. Let's actually go turn that off. Okay. Uh... How do I, how do I stop it? I take the power off it, probably. <laughs> there we go. So you can see I've got another 35,000 there and up to 12,000 diamond already. And building up, I've got 84,000 raw iron too. So I am getting a decent little amount, 1.8K quartz to, uh, to bolster my supplies. We're going to leave that there. And instead, we're going to do that planning out. Hmm. Maybe, yeah, here. So, what I want to do is make a display board from Create. Uh, let's add that over there. What do I need for this? Uh, iron plate should be easy enough to do. I can actually just hammer some down quite comfortably. Uh, hammer, just use one of these and some iron. There we go. And we need some polished quartz using some sandpaper. So, uh, at create, we'll make a few pieces of sandpaper. Oh, I need paper too. And we'll grab some rose quartz. Sure, that'll do. Yeah. Oh, also, I just remembered that I had lowered that while fighting the dragon. Okay, we'll craft up seven of those and make these. Now, these are going to require a little bit of rotational force to use, I believe. I need one more. There we go. And how can I do a quick little basic rotational force behind here? Let's see. Uh, let's go back here, directly behind. And honestly, I think the easiest way for super, super low amount of what we need is, where is it? A fan. Oh, We've upgraded to the new version of Create. Cool. Okay, okay. Let's make an encased industrial fan or just encased fan. So we just need one of those and I need some andesite casing, which is pretty easy to do. We just need a piece of stripped wood of any kind. This should do just nicely. Is that really the first one I've made in this world? There you go. Make one of those. And I should be able to just put together something fairly simple. Put one of those on top of there, grab one of those, make ourselves a gearbox, which needs one more piece of wood. Boop a doo. <laughs> Working with create. And then, just so that I have the room here, do I have any magma? I do. A magma block like that. Place this on there. And can I rotate it? Like that? There's a way to do this, I swear. Hmm. I can make myself some lava using this stuff. Does lava do the trick? Could have sworn that uh, you could make this rotate like that. Uh, you probably can, but I'm just going to go with something that I know works. Now, with these new ones, I think it's changed so that uh, they don't actually require direction, right? Water wheels draw force from the adjacent water currents. Covering additional sides will further improve its kinetic output. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Using wood planks on the wheel to change its appearance. Oh, cool. And that's it. <laughs> Recent changes. 
Ah, oh, there's a large water wheel now. I see. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. Draw force from adjacent water currents. Yeah, that makes sense. Additional. That also makes sense. Only at half the speed of regular water wheels, but provides substantially higher stress capacity. Cool. Very interesting. All right. Water. Oh, I've got a uh, an infinite water source here. How about that? <laughs> I mean, that's working. Not exactly how I intended, but it's working. All right, let's do this. That seems fine enough. <laughs> if I put one here, does that make it any faster? I'm not sure, but for now, that is going to give us all that we need for that. We'll also grab one of our framed doors here and just uh, do that. Perfect. So now, I believe, speed requirements, it appears that the display board is not rotating with enough speed. Mm. So, a little bit of gearing then. Big wheel, two little wheel, and then a big wheel to a little wheel. How about now? Nice. That seems to be enough. So now, with the create stuff here, I think there's like a clipboard that I can make, right? Clipboard, yeah, uh, just requires a few things here. Shift for summary, keep your notes and make you look more professional. When right clicked, open the interface, sneak click to place it on the surface. When used on blocks, some blocks settings such as filters can be copied, right clicked and applied, left clicked elsewhere. Okay, let's see. If we open this up and we say uh, ATM star, close the window, Look at that. Okay, so it's like a line by line thing. Interesting. <laughs> uh, apparently we want to do an ATM star. So if I open this up, let's erase that and let's go, hmm, uh, improved power generation. Generat, improved, po hmm. <laughs> improved power gen. There we go. So we need to improve our power generation. Then we want infinite storage drive. Beautiful. So the ATM star is obviously the end goal. Improved power generation is something we need to work on pretty much right away. And that also starts putting us closer to an infinite storage drive, which is going to change the way things work pretty significantly. From there, we also need to probably Go through the creative craft line. Yeah, I think that makes sense. That makes sense to me anyway. Creative craft line being uh, this, going through all of these things. Now, <laughs> that very much encompasses a very large range of stuff, but to get the ATM star, improve power gen, we should be able to get some stuff that takes us fairly far towards the end until we have to make a large generator of sorts. Infinite storage is obviously infinite, so that means that it will last us absolutely till the end. And then going through the creative craft line is sort of everything included. Next thing that I want to do and just have like visually there so I can remember is a nether star production. We're going to need a lot more nether stars. Uh, at the moment, I calculated it when I finished recording the last one. We've got a little bit more now, but this is only like a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of what we need. So we're going to need plenty more and we'll probably use some hostile neural networks to get those going. And I kind of want to think of one more thing to put up on the board. Hmm. So I wonder if I can make this cleaner. Okay, we need less at the start. Perfect. ATM star plans, improved power gen, infinite storage drive, creative craft line, nether star production, and... Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for blue skies. See, the thing is I've played through a little bit. I haven't finished, but I have played through a little bit of the Twilight Forest. And I'm also playing through that with a friend of mine as well. And I figure blue skies might be a nice thing that I have never seen. I've never experienced it and I'd like to go and try it out. And for the creative line in here, uh, one of these, that's pretty easy to make, but I think, one, where is it? This one? No. This one? No. This? No. No. This one? Uh, no. Pat? No. Wait. 
this one. <laughs> so this one requires a few things. Some from Art Nouveau, just Dragon's Breath and some normal things. Inactive Dragon Egg means we have to get in Productive Bees. But you can see here there's the option to either go Twilight Forest route or to go the Blue Skies route. And I think I'd like to go the Blue Skies and check out that mod and see what comes from it. These ones are obviously things that I can work on just as I produce the resources. But yeah, Blue Skies, I like it. So I think that means that we now need to start working towards some improved power generation because yeah, <laughs> this isn't enough. At the moment, this is only providing 5,600 times three, which what did we work out that was 17,200 or something? Uh, 17,800? Six times three is 1,800. 16,800, yes. <laughs> so 16,800 minus 8,000 because there is 8,000 being used at all times to uh, provide us with this wire 8,008, this wireless transmitter here that goes infinitely. So we're using 8,847 per tick. Yeah, that's, that's insane. And if we have a look at power and go to our reactors. Going all the way up to a nitro reactor will generate 250,000 Fe per tick and can hold 500 million each. But I think uh, I think we can definitely get at least two, if not three of these running. And the way I'm gonna do that is using all of this stuff that we've generated to basically automate the process all the way up to nitro and make ourselves all the pieces of nitro reactor things that I need. So you need 36 reactor blocks in your hand and placing them in a three by four replaceable area. Then the reactor will completely build itself automatically. So essentially I just need to go one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and build that up as it goes. So I think it's three by four and four deep, maybe, or is it three deep? <laughs> Yeah, we'll work that out as it comes to it. So if I click on this infinite storage part, oh, it's uh, it switched the string over to being made from that. Or is that for the redstone maybe? Might be for the redstone. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to have to work on the power gen to be able to make this infinite storage part. Yeah, as well as a, uh, a spare one billion storage part that's going to be used for some of the crafting in this creative menu here. Which one is it? This one, this one, maybe this one. Yeah. So this one requires a billion storage part for in there to make this improbable probability device. We got our work cut out for us, folks, but we've got an idea of what is required. And so I think with this uh, fiddling back and forth and trying out some different things. It's just been one of those episodes where we're preparing, we're working on some bits and pieces and making progress towards the ATM star. It doesn't look like much has changed, but behind here, I've actually got this connected up, which is nice using those facades and uh, all of this going. Oh, we've got some uh, vibranium and unobtainium being made which is lovely and in between episodes i might go and kill the dragon a few more times to make up the remaining stuff that i need to get nine of each of them going if not 12 might even go all the way up to the central part here just so that we have them producing at a decent pace but i think that's where i'm going to call it We'll get into the next episode nice and quickly and start working on our power generation. And I think we're going to put the reactors in the base of this here. I like the idea of having one, two, and three of those reactors right here, all providing power and all automatically being run without any fear of uh, things going wrong. So that's next episode. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this one, uh, this little bit of a working out what to do and working on a few behind the scenes things, getting ourselves some resources and writing down a list of what we need to do. And I hope you're looking forward to the rest of the series as we start making our way towards the ATM star. If you did enjoy this episode, I'd really appreciate it if you left a like. It does help a lot, shows YouTube that you like what you're watching and it helps get these episodes out to more people. And on top of that, I would also like to thank my Patreon supporters for your continued support 
You folks are amazing, genuinely, and I appreciate it so much. So with all that being said, until the next episode, I hope you all take care of yourselves, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye, everyone. Uh, whoop!